Hello everyone, uh, my name is Levi and I'm shooting this video to give you my first impressions of the tethered M2 turkey vest. Uh, I guess it's a hunting vest because uh, it's my understanding that they've designed this to be able to be used for a multiple, uh, um, not a multiple, a multitude of um, different outdoor activities. So I picked this up yesterday at the Iowa Deer Classic and um, I just wanted to try it out. Uh, me and the, uh, Joel and Mike will be going to uh, Florida here in a couple of weeks, less than two weeks, and we will be each using this vest to kind of get our, get our thoughts on it and, and get our own uh, opinions formed on it. And we will follow this video up with uh, a post use video and get all three of our opinions out to you um, this is a new vest um, from tethered as I said before and it's uh, kind of a, it's a minimalist vest but I found that I can get quite a bit of stuff in it so without further ado you have the waist belt um, that you can tighten up to your waist and take a lot of weight off of your shoulders um, this thing is, uh, like Molly, uh, it's the M2 vest. It's, I believe, mobile and modular. Um, and, uh, what I found is on the way home, it takes some time and some work to put the thing together. But I think it really, I think that, uh, um, all in all, it's going to be one of those scenarios where, um, one of those things that you put in the work and uh and it's worth it um uh if it comes easy maybe it's not uh maybe it's not as good uh um but this one you have to work for it but i think it's going to be it's um worth it you can design it to your own needs um what i'm thinking is if whatever tethered may not offer there are so many items out there for like military tactical um vests and whatever um that you could get on amazon and, and buy lots of things that you could add inside this vest and or onto it uh so the the possibilities seem endless with this thing um what i like so far is these side packs are out of the way for if i have to crawl up on a turkey or something or crawl not necessarily up on a turkey but I need to stay low and mobile I can do that with this vest um, let's see I have the water bladder I got the backpack version um, you can get the game bag version I got the backpack version uh, let's see so I actually threw my leafy suit in here uh, I would probably actually not carry that in there. I'd probably wear it and throw my rain gear in there. But anyway, I have a small shovel for not being a surface crapper. Um, uh, I don't have my roll of teepee in here, which should always be with me. I brought my turkey tote in here. I have a few items that I have that came with the vest that I have not yet found a use for. Uh, like I said, I just got this yesterday, so uh, I uh, just uh, throwing stuff in here to see what I can fit and um, where things are now may not be where they stay. I actually got my leg gaiters in here and the, this back pouch. There are a few pouches inside here, um, mesh pouches that you can store small items and the water bladder is in there. Um, I got my thermocell set up on this side of the vest, clipped onto the molly. In this pouch, I have my head net, face mask, and my gloves. Um, and actually, I haven't put much in this pocket yet. Lots of room in this pocket velcro on each side and this is where i'm saying amazon would probably have all sorts of things 
that could be useful that you could throw inside of these if tether does not offer it. Um, that's what I'm imagining here with me having this vest uh, I, that I will do something like that. Uh, I got in this pocket, I have um, shells and one pot call, one striker, uh, pouch for diaphragm calls, a crow call. Uh, I have more room in there. There is another like separate zippered pouch inside of here for other things, smaller items, uh, maybe your license or whatever it is. Um, uh, there's like Molly um, uh, separated straps uh, here that uh, you can attach other items. This seat is customizable. As a matter of fact, it, uh, it will zip open. You can unzip it and, uh, and uh, reconfigure the different pieces of foam inside of there, the firm foam and the soft foam to uh, fit your, your, um, how you like your seat to feel. I am told that you will also be able to purchase more foam um, from Tethered, but really you could probably buy different foams anywhere online now these days and really customize that seat. Hey, stay here. Come here. Anyhow, so I'm gonna buckle this back up and have a seat. So this seat flips up like this, as I understand. Oh, nice. Gear rub. Oh, sorry. Stay out of the way. I... What? Go, get. Um, but stay close. This, the seat seems comfortable just the way that they have it configured. I don't know. We'll see over time if I make any adjustments to it. Um, I thought, uh, my first impression was that these pouches are a little far back um, uh, for the one that I tried on at the show at the Deer Classic. I uh, really regret not wearing a little bit warmer clothing. Um, but anyway, I actually tried to mount these a little farther forward and my I mounted my uh, shoulder straps, I believe they called it yoke, um, a little bit farther back so that I could mount these pouches a little farther forward. And uh, so that I can, I, I position my zippers farther back so I can just one zip, I can get a, a larger opening to get my items. Um, So, uh, there's a large opening here where I can get my bino harness. Um, anyway, I'm sure I'm forgetting something, but that is my uh, kind of first impressions on this um, tethered M2 vest. And like I said, three of us will be testing this out here in less than two weeks in Florida and Texas. So, um, Stay tuned and uh, hopefully we can get you some more information if you're curious about this uh, this vest. See ya. Well, I came back to the truck and reviewed the very unrehearsed um, um, video that I just shot. And uh, I realized that I forgot to mention a couple things that I really like about this vest. It seems to be very strong and and durable, well made, and probably one of the biggest things that drew me to this vest was that I don't know if I've ever seen, I know that I've never owned a US made vest. And this is, from the sounds of it, almost entirely made in the US. And I love that. Um, we need more of that. I'm not against working with other countries and uh, to develop a product. A company can have their own quality standards, but I love 
things being made here. Um, and, and so that really draw, drew me to this, um, to this vest. Uh, thanks for watching and, uh, y'all take care.